Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and something I haven't checked in on, on, on uh, I like to do it every once in a while, on coinpaprika.com. You can click on um, this button and it gives you the return rates. Uh, so it shows you what the return rates are for different periods of time, seven days, 30 days, one quarter, one year. I wanted to show you this the crypto, this is how far crypto is down for the year. Um, looks like Theta on my list that I've got. Theta has gone down the worst. IOTA has gone down second, um, then VeChain, XDC, Cardano. The good thing for me since I've been buying dips is that most of these I did not own when this dip occurred. And so I've been buying most of these during the dip and after the biggest part of the dip. Of course, my XRP is down 70%. Um, for the year, but I've been through six or seven of these things. This is just part of it. Um, Bitcoin and Ethereum are down the least. Um, Ethereum's down the least because of the merge coming up. It's been gaining some traction, but you can see, I mean, the thing is, I've seen this happen five to seven times since I got in this in 2013. So, I, once you learn that you've got to make sure you always maintain a certain amount of liquidity and cash for yourself, these things get a lot better. And I hope a lot of people learned that lesson last time and maybe hopefully they're in a, better, a good position to buy the dips. That's what I'm doing. Um, now, I want to remind everybody before I get going, Pure VPN, you can get uh, for $10.95, for $10.95, $149 a month, you can um, get Pure VPN. You need to have, you need to, make sure you've got all the stuff you know antivirus a virtual private network da 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 if you're going to be in crypto and online at all really so anyway the link to this will be in the very top of the description click on the link and tell them dai sent you um now i put this together you know this this is a, a pattern i mean i've seen it i've been been here done that Every time the market goes down, you start seeing a lot of negativity and everyone, oh, you shouldn't hype and all that. Well, guess what? I feel like everybody that is a holder of XRP has a reason to hype. In fact, everybody who's ever said, uh, well, that's hype or this is your thumbnails hype or whatever, those same people, you'll never see them point the finger at anybody from Ripple who says any of the things that I've put together in this video. And, and think about this while you watch this video. Think of any company in the his, in your entire life who, ha, who has any executive that you've ever heard anything bordering on what's said in this video. These are all their own words. And not one of them has ever been accused of, of hype by any of those same people that accuse people of hype. I think that there's not enough hype because if even an ounce of what's said in this video proves to be true, true, then everybody should be extremely hyped up and excited. I am, and the reason I am is because I don't, I don't lose my enthusiasm over a market, a temporary market. I see that a lot. The reason I don't is because I really am a believer. I believe that what they're saying in the video I'm about to show you is true. I believe that they meant exactly what they said. I've seen enough of them say this kind of stuff that I really do believe it. I've seen a lot. I've seen it all, folks. And I am excited. I know what I hold. And I do have zero doubt. Okay? That doesn't mean that we can't point out the bad guys when we see them with, with regard to things like Ethgate. But you watch this and tell me, are any of the things said in here, like for instance, is it hype to say, which is this first clip, is it hype for a Ripple executive to say, look, this we're going to either put a dent in the universe or we're going to go away. I would, I would say that that's pretty hype. Is it hype for an executive at Ripple to say, we have a simple goal of being a world reserve digital currency? I would say that's about as hype as it can possibly get. And yet, nobody ever points any fingers. And they shouldn't, in my opinion. You should, it, look, as long as you're, as long as you're, Talking about what you truly believe in, all is fair. As long as you're not doing anything that's, uh, you know, fraudulent or illegal. I mean, shoot. But 
there's this weird thing in the United States called freedom of speech, and we still got it, I think. Watch this. Not many company. We are not here to make us have a small market share or do X, do Y, and make small amount of money or something to happen. We are here to make a dent in the universe. Either we will change the remittance un universe, the way you understand, the way value gets transferred across the world between people, between institutions, or we will just fade away. So it's almost zero or one. And well, I think we are moving into a new world order. But I think then where the digital assets fit in, like things like XRP and Bitcoin and Ethereum, they're kind of in that mid-range. They become, I think, like the Singapore dollar or the Swiss, Swiss franc. How dare you, Chris Larson? You said you compared XRP to the Swiss franc. That is so hypey. I have never heard anybody say that. And they shouldn't say it, in my opinion. But if they're going to say it to some people, they should. <laughs> everything should be equal. How dare you? That is so hypey to compare XRP to the Swiss franc. Become Actually, I love it. Keep saying it, Chris Larson. Useful in, you know, kind of lubricating the, the, the world to make it easier for those big four to get in the hands of people all around the world. Audience, what is Interledger's total addressable market size? All the money. <laughs> When XRP was created, this actually was created before Ripple existed, the creators of XRP decided there'd be 100 billion units because they saw it as a, you know, rather than having a smaller number with a very high price, they saw it as something they wanted to be a, effectively a global reserve currency. Ten years out on the financial crisis, we still don't have the infrastructure perhaps to prevent the next one. And I think this is where digital assets can really help because an efficient digital asset uh, can really solve um, some of the key problems in global liquidity. You know, the world's got trillions and trillions of dollars tied up in liquidity just to get around how clunky the movement of value is around the world. If with a really efficient digital asset, something like XR XRP, and that's what we believe will be the, the, the most efficient, um, you can now reduce trillions and trillions of capital from being tied up. So you can make those transfers instantly as a bank or as a payment provider or as an enterprise without having to have money pre-positioned all over the world. Uh, because I've always believed from the minute I read the consensus, the white paper on the consensus mechanism for XRP, I believed it had the, the capability of changing the world. How dare you, Miguel Valles, say that XRP could change the world? How dare you? That is so hypey. Actually, thank you for saying it. Thank you for, uh, thank all of them for saying those things because it's kept my attention for four years and I've enjoyed every minute of it. All right, Scoop, prominent crypto hedge fund and VC investor Pantera Capital has lost a number of senior employees in recent months. Now, I, I read the article, but I, I, I didn't pick up on anything weird going on there. Just They just happened to have lost some executives. Um, wanted to show you this. This is from James Philan. This last part of what he says here, he says, I'm sticking to my prediction that the district judge Torres will decide both the expert motions and the summary judgment motions at the same time on or before March 31st, 2023. I have no prediction on when the Hinman email dispute will be fully and, and finally resolved. Okay, so I'm assuming, because I, I, it seems like I remember John Deaton saying March, March of 2023 is kind of the latest that this thing will be over. So I think that's what he's getting at there. Okay, now there's this. Tipsy Tiger put this out. Um, he, said, um, he said, the best bit so far, at least we now know how much XRP, R3, R3 and Ripple settled for. Uh, we, we've talked about this before, the pre-allocated $5 billion uh, XRP option that R3 had. It was pre-allocated to R3. Well, here we've got um, right here in some of the court documents, it says, it says the amount of XRP available for, for purchase under the option was later reduced and option investor B purchased at at least 1.04 billion XRP in 2019. So what, the way I think I read that is that the option amount was reduced from 5 billion to 1.04 billion and it looks like it's possible that R3 had to exercise the option. I don't know. This is all we've got here. But so in essence they had a 
an option for 1.04 billion XRP. And that, my friends, is pre-allocation. And we're all wild and crazy speculators out here using the word pre-allocated. But that is the fact jack. <laughs> and Greg Kidd said he had one too. I still wonder if Tim Draper has an XRP option because he said he owned it and he doesn't ever talk about it. I wonder if a lot of people have XRP options, pre-allocated XRP. All right, and then we had Kristen Smith from the Blockchain Association who's commenting on the Biden executive order and how um, yesterday the debt was the deadline for the Biden executive order on crypto. Here's how we were involved in the process. And she says, we focused on three agencies, um, the Treasury, Office of Science and Technology Policy, and the Commerce Department. So the Blockchain Association, I took this time because I don't really care what she has to say because I know this, reminder, this crypto industry group that has been trying to guide the government's thinking on crypto has done zero to help Ripple versus the SEC or to help John Deaton in his representation for, for, of over 70,000 XRP holders against the SEC. They should rename themselves the Bitcoin Ethereum Association. Exactly. And they're welcome to prove me wrong. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Now, against the backdrop of everything that I showed you, like in the video from Ripple and all this, this is Mark Yusko. Now, listen, as the Bitcoin and Ethereum maxis go, I think Mark Yusko is one of the nicer guys. He's kind of, to me, he's kind of like the Tim Draper. But I w I'd say Tim Draper's my favorite. Mark Yusko, I don't think is a bad guy, but I do think that he both, he, remember, he was Anthony Pompliano's partner at Morgan Ke Creek Capital. I don't know if they're still in business together. But he's commenting here, this is from JV, dot Gary Gensler is on. He's commenting here on um, XRP, and this, listen, this guy went to Duke, I think, I think, as I recall, he went to Duke. This is not a dumb guy. Both him and Anthony Pompliano have played dumb for years on XRP. That's the part of this that's just BS. They, he does not have this lack of understanding of, of Ripple and XRP. Mark Yusko is not a dummy, okay? Mark, one of the questions that we always talk about is why are these billionaires so willing to promote, for lack of a better term, we call them meme coins, some people call them shit coins, like Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, but I actually do want to ask you, we're getting a ton of questions, they're begging me to ask you about XRP, so that's exactly what I'm going to do next. We always talk about XRP in this channel because we understand the evolution of the banking system. Coach JV, who founded the 3T Warrior Academy, he came from banking and, and he taught us everything he knows. One of the things that's clear is that the SWIFT system doesn't actually exchange value, right? It's just an accounting system. It just yep. keeps track of where the value is going. These new protocols, which we call ISO 20022, are going to be running on a list of blockchains. And the most prominent one on that list is Ripple XRP. Back in 2018, they had over 380 central banks partnered with Ripple to start using their on-demand liquidity system. Now they've been sued by the SEC and that innovation has been severely hindered, but they're growing outside of the United States. What I want to know from you in particular is two things. One, are you bullish on XRP? We know you're not an advocate of centralized currencies and many people debate that type of regulation. Um, look, uh, I, I'm not an owner um, and there's a reason for that. It, it, it does have to do with centralization. So we launched a uh, an index uh, with our partner Bitwise a number of years ago. And, and the basic idea, and, and it was an idea ahead of its time, which means it was a bad idea, um, and it will be a good idea at some point, but what we, what everyone tried to do in this cycle was recreate the traditional markets that are 70 and 80 years in. And what I mean by that is people said, oh, let's have an index of crypto. Well, no, it took 70 years for indexing to catch on. Indexing isn't the be all end all. In fact, capitalization waiting is illogical other than in a liquidity fed environment because you're buying more of the most expensive and selling what's cheap. That's ant antithetical to value investing, which is what I am at my core. Okay, let me get down. Uh, there's a part where he's talking about, oh, uh, let me see if it's this one. I want to hear the, the part where he's talking about Stellar and XRP. I think the regulators are like, hey, back off, right? Yeah. We're good. We don't we don't want a better solution, even though they should. And so like I said, it's a longer conversation. 
I have admiration for the supporters. I, I need to be better informed. I need to actually spend more time with you guys learning and stop talking and, uh, and listen. We would love um, that. Because, <laughs> because look, He's, if I'm. He said, the, I've, got, I've played video from a year or two ago where he said the same thing. He needs to start learning. These guys know exactly what's going on. He also knows what's going on with Ethereum. Make no mistake. He knows that those whale. He's seen those disguise that disguise whales video. Write it down, folks. These guys are not dumb. When they're playing dumb, my my antenna goes up. And I'm not learning anything, right? We have two ears and one mouth for a reason, right? All that good stuff. Um, but I would like to learn more, and and it's something that that I I, I honestly haven't spent the time. Mostly because there are so many hours in a day. Yeah. We yeah, made yeah. a decision, rightly or wrongly. To, to not spend time on XRP and, and Stellar. If that's a good decision or bad decision, I won't, I won't come. Right, and he said it's because of the centralized ownership. Well, in another tweet that I didn't pull up here, I took the Disguise Whales video where Brad Garlinghouse and Joseph Lubin are sitting there and then the part where Joseph Lubin's hiding the whales and, and it, it lays it all out. And I asked Mark Yesko in the tweet, which he didn't answer, didn't think he would, is... So, so you're taking it at face value. You know, you know that Joseph Lubin helped disguise the whales. They've never been revealed who, who, how centralized the ownership of Ethereum is or is not. And you were fine with that. But Stellar and Ripple, because they showed you what they did, that's that that you can't do that. See that I'm not playing. I'm not buying that. Now listen to what he says here. Oh, you only got a couple of minutes left, but I do want to fire some quick XRP stuff at you. So everybody talks about who's on their advisor, their board of directors, and those types of connections. Pull out a $100 bill right now, and if you look at right here, that signature right there is Rosie Rios. Rosie Rios is now on the board of directors for Ripple. She was the former U.S. Treasury of the United States. Man, They've got thousands, not thousands. They've got plenty of connections when it comes to the Fed. And here's another one, right? Formal Ripple advisor Michael Barr will now supervise the Federal Reserve we see the connections all over the place. And if you do join us again, I would love to bring up a chart breaking down all the connections because it because there is hundreds. There's literally dozens and dozens of these employees. No, 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 I would enjoy that. And, and said, I I need to learn more because you know I just haven't spent the time. Uh, and here's just, the interesting thing. He's I, just trying to pacify the guy. This, this guy knows this guy's not a dummy. He knows exactly what's tweeted going this on. out yesterday. Um, and it was about Bitcoin, but it applies to Ripple or anything else. Every investor I know that I respect started skeptical of crypto broadly, of Bitcoin specifically, and then they did the work and then they became a believer and a supporter. Every single one. There's only one guy, and I actually don't respect him very much, I shouldn't say that, um, who, who just wouldn't do the work. He just wouldn't do the work. And so he's out there saying, no, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, and even wrote a book trying to say it's bad. I mean, you just got to do the work. And so to dismiss something out of hand because you don't like the founder or you don't like the, the mantra or whatever, which happens all the time in this space, is wrong. You got to do the work. So, so I will, I will uh, commit to do the work. Now, I have to play the other clip because it, it, I, I couldn't remember which one had the, the part I wanted you to hear. Listen to this. Which is what I am at my core. So, but... You know, we went along with it and we did it. And, and one of the, the criteria of the S&P 500 be uh, enough free float. You can't, right? it can't be centrally time because it was owned too much by Elon, even though it hit all the other criteria. Top 10 crypto minus anything that has more than 50% held by one entity. So that got Stellar and XRP out. That wasn't me pissing on either one of those. It was just, that was what we used as the rule. And and we and we didn't we didn't do it. So so I don't own XRP. I I have I have great admiration for the group and the team and what their goal is approaching this massive infrastructure system that is antiquated and to your point doesn't you know doesn't do the things that we, we would like it to do in a new financial system. So I applaud that. I I, I agree with you that that the lawsuit doesn't help uh, because people don't like lawsuits and and they don't like regulators poking around. So I, but here here's the thing: we're in the then they fight you stage, and it's going to get worse before it gets better. 
And if you come at the king, you better not miss. And I think that's a little bit what's happened with XRP here is Bitcoin and the others kind of came at the banks in a backdoor way where they said, oh, you know, BlockFi, move your money out of the bank, turn into a stable coin and we'll pay you 6% interest instead of zero. Five million does that, 10 million does it, 5 billion does it, 20 billion, whoa, whoa, time out. 20. Boy, I just wanted you to hear that part. If you come at the king, you better not miss. I'm sure that all of the um, the people that uh, do all the cartoons, the bearable things and all that are going absolutely nuts when they heard that one. <laughs> um, but that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty interesting statement right there. And then there was this Russia legalizing cryptocurrency to to bypass sanctions after being banned by the SWIFT global banking system. Their new Bitcoin factories, exchanges, and banking apps are being built to adopt a decentralized global free market. And then John Deaton says, now watch moronic politicians like Brad Sherman, Elizabeth Warren, and Gary Gensler do what they always do and react to the news like this with statements of how cryptocurrencies should be outlawed because they are being used for nefarious reasons. He is so right. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and tell your friends and family that John Deaton's right. These people will use this to do what they, that they didn't think they could do before. That's from their buddy, Rahm Emanuel.